when I was 21. What's going on guys, Cooks46 here bringing you an MLB The Show 17 video. We are going to be going over the roster update for Friday, May 12th. We had some players go up, we had some players go down, so I want to make sure I get all the notable ones out to you guys so you guys know which players you should be putting on your lineup and which ones you should be investing in. So the biggest overall jump of the entire roster update goes to Wandy Peralta going from a 44 overall to a 71 overall, a plus 27 jump at a boy, Wandy. Look at the improvements, 34 on the hits through 9, plus 24 on the K through 9 plus 22 on the velocity oh man what a update for Wandy Peralta but taking a look at some of the other notable ones we've got Yonder Alonso going from a 67 to a 78 really good on the power numbers going up really good on the contact versus lefty going up to 24 Marwin Gonzalez went up 6 71 to a 77 Mark Reynolds went from a 75 to an 80 so Mark Reynolds is now sitting at a silver he had plus 11 and plus 7 in his contact and power against righties so he had a good week there plus 2 plus 5 in his power so good week for Mark Reynolds Andrew Benintendi the Red Sox man 79 to an 83 Benintendi is now at a silver plus 10 on his vision plus 8 on his contact versus lefties and plus 6 on his contact versus righties Justin Wilson went a plus 4 overall so he is sitting pretty at an 83 overall silver he had a plus 5 to his K through 9s and a plus 12 through his walks through 9s we got a silver to a gold guys Marcelo Zuna 83 to an 86 plus 4 plus 6 plus 9 in the contact and power against righties plus 11 in the discipline his vision went down a little bit by 4 but that's not too bad. Adam Duvall went up two. He is now at a silver, so he had plus 10 on his contact versus lefties and plus six on his power versus lefties, also plus four on his vision. And the rich get richer. Chris Sale was at a 93. He went up plus two to a 95 overall now. So now he's one of the highest rated pitchers in the game. He was already high, but now he's even higher. He had plus three to his hits through nine, uh, plus two to his Ks through nine, and plus five to his home runs through nine. Here is one that I was predicting. Gene Segura, 83 to an 85. He is now a gold plus 11 and plus 10 on the contact numbers, plus two on the power against righties. His vision did go down by eight, as well as the discipline going down, but with how good he's been hitting, he's definitely deserving of a gold, in my opinion. Also, one of the best silver cards in the game, he went up to a gold as well. Charlie Blackman, 84 to an 86 from the Rockies. He had plus six to his contact versus righties, plus nine on his power versus righties. His contact versus lefties went down, but his power against lefties went up, so kind of a trade-off there, but he did go down in vision and discipline, but still plus two he's now a gold gonna increase his price dj lemayhew went down last week so you get one rockies player going down you get one rockies player going up so now we're going to start going over some of the people that went down in rating and this one is going to surprise a lot of people ryan zimmerman went down in rating he was in an 84 silver looked like he was probably going to go to gold with the way he was been playing but he went down to an 82 nothing to do with his hitting numbers but look at how much of a hit his fielding took minus 14 on his fielding minus 10 on his arm strength minus 5 on his accuracy and minus 12 on his reaction so nothing to do with his hitting numbers but my homie went down too because of how bad he's been fielding apparently so Ryan Zimmerman gonna have a tough time getting a gold. Here's an interesting one, guys. While Chris Sale went up two, Jake Arrieta went down two. So Jake Arrieta is still at a diamond, but he did go down to a 90 overall. Minus five or minus six on his hits through nine, plus four on his strikeouts per nine, but minus nine on his home runs per nine. So rough week for Jake Arrieta going down a little bit. His Cubs teammate, the former World Series MVP Ben Zobrist, minus two went from a gold to a silver. He's now sitting in an 83, minus 11 on, uh, minus 11 and minus 7 on his contact numbers, plus 9 in his power versus lefties, minus 6 on his vision. Jonathan Falar went down from a gold to a silver. He went down across the board, minus 9, minus 4 on his contact, minus 5 on his power versus lefties, minus 9 on his vision, minus 4 on his discipline. Really rough, rough period for Jonathan Villar, that's for sure. Also, the former cover athlete of MLB The Show 13. Andrew McCutcheon went from a gold to a silver. I mean, it's not that big of a surprise, but it just sucks to see this man, uh, you know, not being or not playing in his full potential. Minus 16 on the contact versus right. His contact versus left and power versus left went up a little bit, but his discipline went down 12. His vision did go up, but just a rough time for Andrew McCutcheon right now. And the man who took the absolute biggest hit of this roster update, Francisco Rodriguez from the Tigers, the former Angel, negative seven overall. He is now at a 73, went from a silver to a 
bronze, minus 15 on his hits through nine, minus 11 on his walks through nine, minus four on his home runs through nine, minus 15 on his clutch, and minus two on his control. Frankie, what happened, bro? What happened? But that is pretty much the roster update for this week, guys. Let me know what you think. Do you think anybody got shorted? Do you think Ryan Zimmerman deserved to go down to? Do you think Charlie Blackman and Gene Segura were good moves to go gold? Do you think Chris Sale deserves a 95? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. But other than that, guys, that is going to do it for this video. So make sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss any more MLB The Show 17 videos. And guys, that's all I have for you today. So I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next video, I will see you later.